Hello, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you like the content, you can share some feedback in the comment section. And without further ado, let's dive straight into the chart. So when it comes to Jupiter, it is important to know what Jupiter actually uh, is and signifies in the complete spectrum of astrology. So I will leave a video at the end of this video uh, where I was disclosing a lot of details about Jupiter in the Lagitaria Vastas course uh, on my uh, YouTube page. So feel free to check that out. Now, in general, uh, Jupiter is uh, the significator of uh, our innermost fulfillment. So when it comes for a woman in the chart, it is also representing the husband and the uh, creation that comes from that union, which is then uh, children. So I made a few notes here. So when Jupiter is good positioned in a woman's chart, that means she has uh, good uh, spiritual merits that she developed from a previous life. So this is considered a good karma uh, to have. Jupiter positioned in good dignity and avashtas. So in general, yes, the woman, they have to build up the faith of their partner because they will be very vulnerable when it comes to pregnancy. They will be very dependable on the husband when the belly is full and the baby has to come out and all of these things. So she has to be able to count on that person, that he's reliable, that he's uh, steady, that he's not all over the place, that he's knowledgeable, because Jupiter is also this knowledge. He's the significator of the ninth house, also in astrology. And this is Lakshmi. Mm. And uh, Lakshmi is kind of the abundance, but also the abundance of knowledge, not just wealth. Jupiter is joyful. Uh, so when uh, Jupiter is well positioned in the chart of a woman, she has a happy relationship with that man. He's also very genera uh, generational because the children that come out of the union, able to generate children. Uh, he's also the creative intelligence and abundance. So a bad Jupiter, of course, the husband will uh, disappoint, will not be steady, will not be re reliable, will probably cheat depending on the nakshatras that he's placed in and the aspects that he gets. So you might find yourself being in the male position in uh, in, in life uh, if you have uh, this uh, partner. So you probably work harder than him then, and you probably be more intelligent, more wise, more spiritually orientated. Uh, and you probably will find yourself having no faith in him. So this is, of course, a complication. Now, don't just look at the D1. This is a, a big misconception here. The D1 uh, is not a critical position when Jupiter is a bad position because the Navamsha can neutralize all of that. The D1 is more for the support that you will get in your personal direction uh, as a woman. So and this is not a critical, but if there are very strong negative avastas, you, you want to check in these Vargas, uh, especially D7, because for the procreation, uh, 11th house from the 7th house is the 5th house. So uh, the gains that you get from the union in the 7th house will be the children in the 5th house. Uh, so D7 is very important to look at the position of Jupiter in general. D7 is uh, very much necessary. So you will be see if Jupiter is positively positioned there, you will see that your partner is actually actively involved in making this relationship uh, work in a healthy matter. And then, of course, the D9 or the Navamsha becomes the most important one. It's kind of known as being the Varga of the marriage. It also gives the 
uh, a good dignity of uh, planets. It can neutralize bad planets in the Navamsha. But it's in overall, it's the Varga of commitment. It's the Varga of the security that you will find with your partner and the path that you will be both walking uh, on. So, um, yeah, if Jupiter is in a good condition, for example, in the D9, okay, the person may uh, support your uh personal direction your career or your uh personal interest and he will uh support you in that but uh when he is then not uh positioned well in the d7 he, you will see that he okay even though he supports you and he's on the phone with you and he's asking about your day but you will notice that he's not really actively involved in what you are actually doing in life. Mm. And then if he's then at the same time bad positioned in the D9, then you will see that there is no, in general, there is no commitment into the marriage or into the relationship. And you will feel insecure that this will have a long lasting um uh, relationship in general so even though he's on the phone with you but he's not actively inside your life and he's not really committing to certain obligations as a partner so all of these things you have to keep in consideration so look at those placements in the chart and of course it is very necessary to have the right settings in, in your chart uh, and therefore a real uh, a full-time practicing astrologer comes into hand because if you're using all these free applications, you have no idea what is an Ayanamsa. You're just looking at the standard uh, Lahiri, Sidereal, and you make wrong conclusions. So that's why you need a professional astrologer uh, or have professional software. Uh, there is a link also in the description that uh, directs you to the Kala software that I am using. And then also, uh, lastly, uh, you want to look at the Avastas. So if there are complications, then you want to look at the Lajitari Avastas that we have here, Lajitari Avastas. Then you look at uh, Varga here. Uh, you look at uh, all of these things. Mm. And what is really important is also to look at the aspects in these avastas. So you want to see what are the enemies of Jupiter. And that is actually Mercury and Venus. Saturn is neutral, but the Sun, Moon and Mars empowering Jupiter. So these natural relationships, very important for aspects and uh, conjunctions, Graha Drishtri, and then also... The deep Tadi Avashta, that is the compound relationship in the house that he's in. And, and that will cause us um, a kind of the situation or the, the overall circumstances. Uh, so the Laji Tadi Avashta will, is more on the psychological level, on the character and the habits that one develops. So look at these avastas, the deep, ta deep tadi is the circumstances that you are in with your large tadi avastas. And then if you want to see if your husband is kind of uh, actively involved, you want to look at the jagradadi avasta. So in the Parashahora Shastra, there are uh, five main avastas. So you want to check if uh, this is in the jagrat or the awake state. Uh, in the Shvapna or the sleepy state if he's kind of uh, sleeping in the relationship or the Shushupti when he's uh, slumbering in the relationship so the best one is to have Jupiter uh, wide awake and very actively involved in your relationship of course and then, yeah, like I already mentioned, you want to look at the nakshatra. What I also do is uh, I check the Jaimini, the Karaka, uh, also uh, of Jupiter. And I look at the percentage scored in the Vimshopaka. 
and then all of the deep study of Vashtas in Varga. That, that's how you kind of get a clear picture of, um, yeah, how your husband uh, will be uh, in, in your relationship and the outcome of children also. All of these things are important in the D7, uh, by the way. Uh, and there, there is uh, much more. That is the um, Shaptamsha. So you want to look at the Shaptamsha, the Navamsha. Also, when there are complications and you see it's not really working, you want to look uh, at different things. So, yeah, I hope this video helps. Uh, like I said, there's going to be here on the end screen somewhere a video directing you for a more in-detailed analysis to uh, the Lajita, the Avashta of uh, Jupiter in the chart. Uh, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I will see you in the next uh, recording.